let's meet the visiting team, New Orleans Park. At center, Billy Hernandez. At shooting ball, the kill Alexander Walker. At the other guard position, Devontae Gray. At small four, Brandon Ingram. At the other forward position, Zion Williams. Greg Anthony as well as Brett Berry and we'll be catching up a bit from the sideline with David Aldridge DA it's all yours thank you very much Jaron Jackson Jr. is continuing in his father's NBA footsteps asked about that influence Jaron said just his heart for the game and tenacity you have to be able to shoot and play defense because you don't want to be a liability at the end of the day my dad did all of that and he won a ring Kevin Jaron Jr. wants that last part, too. I can see why, D.A., and I think he's well on his way. Thank you for that one. Now we have a moment to look at how the blocks have been stacking up over the past several months for Steven Adams. But we're just not seeing that same fierceness out of him defensively these last few months. He's lost a little bit of that intimidation factor. He's not blocking as many shots, and he's not making the same impact on that end of the floor. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans. Ingram and Williamson are the forwards. The guard pair, Graham and Alexander Walker. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the center, locking down the middle. And for Memphis, Adams at center with Jackson next to him. Then it's Brooks. Then there's John Morant. And it's Bain in at the two guard spot. Go. Two very athletic teams here, Greg. A game that's sure to produce a lot of highlights. And makes me think of Stacy Arbor, one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. Now here's Jackson. Pass to Adams to the right side. Here's Morant. Up and in on the left. Well, Steven Adams has more skills than just being a screen setter out there, showing them off there. Now here's Graham. Turned in an outstanding game against Denver. Feeds to Williamson. And 
Williamson throws it down. Yeah, he's too good athletically. If Zion gets that close, that is big trouble. Here are the Grizzlies with the ball. Morant passes to Brooks. We're about one minute into the first. The three. And Morant gets it to go on the assist by Brooks. Morant's got his second bucket tonight. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from me. And so Graham will bring it up for the Pelicans. It's a three-point game. Their last encounter was in New Orleans. Yeah, you, you saw the communication breakdowns defensively. Just giving up way too many open looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Ingram against Brooks. Now here's Graham. He's tightly guarded. Here's Williamson. And hammers that one down right in the face of Jaron Jackson. Yeah, Zion's going to bring that to the table right there. A presence on the boards and determined to score once he gets his hands on that rock. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Bain, covered by Williamson. And there it is for him. And early on, they looked great. They made all four of their shots to start this game. Drives to the hoop. And Williamson throws it down. Well, I like it when he goes vertical, but I like it when he stays there. How about Zion getting up? When you look at Zion Williamson's impressive scoring output, what also strikes you, Greg, is his field goal percentage. Yeah, I mean, this guy hits at just around 60%. Safe to say Zion isn't wasting many looks. He just attacks inside where a few men can slow him down. Here's Graham following the basket by John Durant. And throw the ball out of bounds. Graham touched it last. That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. Enzo Brooks will bring it up for the Grizzlies. Leading by five. Tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent and they cost them. Let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Pass to Williamson. Here's Ingram. Over Jackson. Again, the Pelican score. Brandon Ingram, a constant threat on the offensive end. And a little bit of work right there in the mid-range. Brooks finds Jackson. Adams trying to free himself up. Second chance shot. Doesn't go for him. Now New Orleans will take it the other way. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. Well, it was probably a good feeling in that last game that the mid-range work, the long-range work, the inside game work. But the best feeling was the crowd leaving that building not in a good mood. Pelicans trail by three. Ingram left side. Out left to the wing. Shots good by Hernan Gomez. Brandon Ingram at that size able to survey the entire floor and make a play. To the wing right side. Here's Morant. And the layup falls. Morant's got nine points. Strong start here early. Four of his first five made. The pass to Graham. Here's Alexander Walker. Here's Graham. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. 
He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid straight up and in. And late in the season, we see playoff teams break resting their star players. Any excuse for lottery teams doing the same thing? <laughs> Not as far as the league is concerned. If they're healthy, what's the goal? And throwing away games is, is not acceptable. And that one falls for Jackson. Man, you have to respect Jaron Jackson's toughness. This kid has had some early injury struggles but he always returns to the floor determined to pick up right where he left off. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Conchar's checked in. And so Jackson nails both of them. And so it's New Orleans with it. Trailing by five. Here's Graham. And on Gomez trying to break free. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Man, that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second-chance opportunities again and again. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. Another part of the game tonight where they've been effective is to get points in the paint. And that one falls for Graham. And Greg with Devontae Graham, you know he's going to shoot it. He has no hesitation letting it fly. I mean, he's a solid three-point shooter who believes he can make any shot. About two-thirds of his shots all come from outside. So you know exactly what you're getting. With him. And Williamson throws it down. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. Here's Bain. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Stolen away. Williamson with the block. Yeah, Zion just aggressive there and great timing. Pass to Ingram. Three-pointer. Good on the three-point shot. Ingram's got five now. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. Brooks outside. He takes it in. Here's Conshaw. Memphis the rebound. And it's Adams on the follow. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Floats it up for Williamson. It's stolen by Adams. Here's Bain. Graham defending. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his first push. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your At only option. Minutes. Now let's take Desmond a moment to get your guys' take on the Taking scoring so for the Pelicans. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. I'm loving the ping pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. And he makes the first. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Hayes is checked in for Hernan Gomez. Jay Crowder comes in for Williamson. Josh Hart, he's checked in for Alexander Walker. And Sadoransky is subbed in for Devontae Graham. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Belligans trail. Now Hart. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. And he makes no oh, mistake oh. on the slam dunk. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, well, he settled for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. And there's a whistle. That goes on Dylan Brooks. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Here are the Pelicans with the ball. To the middle. Here's Crowder. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Jaron Jackson. 
Pelican shooting their at second the and third Pelicans. shots at the line right here. Jake Brown taking two shots. Free throw good, Crowder. And both free throws good from Crowder. Here's Bain. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Rockets in Houston. Down low, here's Adams. Banked in off the glass. Adams has got eight points. Yeah, that 265 pounds out there, it's pretty solid. A wrecking ball. New Orleans in the lead. And Zedaransky kicks to Hayes. Ingram attacking. And slam dunk by Ingram. And watch out, you don't bring the whole basket down on top of you, young fella. I don't think he ever wanted to let go of the rim. Bain passes to Brooks. And there's a whistle that goes on John Concha. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. The Anthony Melton, he's jacked in for Memphis. Here's Shadaransky. He's guarded by Melton. Driving the lane. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. That's his first personal foul. For New Orleans, they have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line. Knocking down 80%. That free throw missing. Good on the second free throw. The Grizzlies trail by four. Melton feeling it out a bit. Brooks outside. Here's Bain. Sandoransky covering. Shot clock at five. Shot from 16, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Who's going to miss first every time one team scores, the other team right back at you? Just doing the job on the backboard. Launches it. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He for two. He doesn't take a lot of time to make up his mind. Brooks always thinking ahead. And he's in position before the pass is made. Now, here's Sadoransky. He's guarded by Melton. Count the basket. And the Pelicans lead by one. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. And it's Desmond Bain with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Here at Temple is checking for Brandon Ingram. Checking in for the Pelicans. Garrett Temple. And so here is New Orleans. To the inside. Crowder. And Crowder slams it in. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Here's Bain. He's been producing a fair amount of offense night in and night out as he's averaging 14 points a game. Jackson, that's good. And how about the strength of Jackson there? Uses it whenever he's going up inside and fighting through the contest. And so it's New Orleans with it. Sadoransky finds Temple. Shooting foul as the whistle flows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal foul. Steven Adams picks one up. This is his first free throw of the game. Garrett Temple at the line for two. Shooting two.
The first one falls. And both free throws good for Temple. The Grizzlies trail by three. Bain passes to Brooks. Adams outside. Inside. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And he plays with swagger. And when Brooks makes plays like that, it just fuels his fire even more. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. At the line for Memphis. Dylan Brooks, shooting one. And that one falls for Brooks. And there's a flexibility to Brooks' game. And he can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high usage guy. Really depends on what a team needs from night to night. Here's Payne, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, and you look at the lead changes, six already. The Pelicans trail. Temple to pass to Hayes. 144 and left to play in the first quarter. And Thomas Zedaransky gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. That really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Some changes for Memphis. Anderson, he's checked in for Jaron Jackson. Williams comes in for Dylan Brooks. And it's John Morant in for DeAnthony Melton. Now here's Morant. He's got nine. And he drives in. Good on the shot. And it's a four-point Grizzly lead. In focus there from Moran. He just takes them all on and stays locked in on the basket. And coming out of high school, John Moran said he was a no star recruit. One reason he may have been overlooked was his small town upbringing. He was brought up in Dalton, South Carolina. And even though he played on an AAU team with Zion Williams, the most scouts, Greg, were looking right past John Morant. And didn't get a lot of offers at first. After two years at Murray State, he joined Steph Curry and Damian Lillard as another star point guard out of a mid-major program. And to this day, he carries that underdog chip on his shoulder. And the first one at the line is good. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Tillman's checked in. And both free throws good for Temple. Memphis has gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Here's Adams. Good and a nice assist from Moran. Adams has got ten points in the game. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Hart kicks to Hayes. Now the dish to Temple. Outside Crowder. Six on the shot clock. He feeds it to Hayes. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. No good off the back of the rim. Memphis leading by four. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. New Orleans ball. Tyus Jones is checked in for Adams. Tyus Jones. Thirty-six seconds left in the first quarter. Sadaransky the pass to Hayes. He dishes it to Crowder. Pass to Hart. Just five on the clock. From the strike, and he didn't get quite enough under that one. Williams inside, defended by Crowder. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that. He 
he wants. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. The offense coming free and easy as we wrap up the first quarter. Grizzlies lead by six. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. One of the better young two-way big men in the NBA, Jaron Jackson. Uh, he talked about how his defensive responsibilities grow. Uh, probably be more of a backline help, um, talk more, give more help for the rotations because, you know, depending on what team you play, there's a lot of specific things you got to do to guard a certain player. Now with his 7-4 wingspan, Jackson has all the tools to be an elite rim protector. But advanced understanding of positioning. His father was an NBA player, so he's been taught the game from a young age. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And uh, for Memphis guys, what jumps out to you, uh, Stan? Well, the coaches preach ball movement, and we saw exactly why in that first quarter. Everybody just feeling the energy of the basketball as they moved it around, and lots of hands were touching it. In a moment now, we set the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So for New Orleans right now, Setter ends there with Garrett Temple. Then it's Jackson Hayes. Then it's Jay Crowder, and it's Hart in at the three slot. Here's Temple, defended by Jones. Temple gets the bucket. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Moran kicks to Jones. No good from outside. And so Sedaransky will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Four-point game. Temple the pass to Crowder. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Crowder's got four this quarter. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Here's Moran. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yeah, great momentum for them offensive. Pass to Hayes. Sadoramski with it. Outside Crowder. For the three, it's not going to go for him. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Morant outside. Now the pass to Tillman. Moves back up. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. High effort play by Morant. He refuses to let the foul stop him from getting the shot up. And if you're wondering if John Moran lacks for confidence, well, look no further than his point god moniker. This kid is fearless, and he's hungry, and he plays with that proverbial chip on his shoulder. The first free throw is good. And, Craig, you talk about the fearlessness for Morant, reminiscent of Allen Iverson, the way he throws his body all around. I mean, get knocked down, get right back up. At the same time, at 6'3", he can add strength to that frame. I know that's the goal of his as he looks to absorb contact and dish out a little of his own. Both free throws, good from Morant. A great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Passes it to Alexander Walker. Here's Hernan Gomez. Goes up again. At the heart for three. And finish off yeah, by Hernan yeah. Gomez. Well, beating everybody to the ball, Willie doesn't always get his number called, so he's got to put in the extra work and find these efforts in the offensive glass. And too much time in the three. lane. They get That's called for the three-second three violation. Pelicans ball.
New Orleans gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Here's Graham. He shoots again, tries again, and it was still over the rim. Offensive oh, basket interference. Contract checked in for Memphis. Please, John Contract. Here's Morant. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Houston. Let's just not forget about the work on the glass. His effort level was a 10 that night out of 10. Tillman passes to Morant. Six to shoot. Fires the three. A three-pointer is right on target. Morant's got 18 points in the game. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Graham, the pass to Williamson. Over Anderson. That one's good, and the Grizzly lead has cut down to just three in the basket from Williamson. Well, a little contact from the defense goes a long way for Zion Williamson. Williamson against Morant. Good D by Williamson. To the paint. The dunk and the foul, a powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It goes on Kyle Anderson. We've been seeing athletic big men in the NBA now break for some time, but Zion Williamson raised the bar when it came to that department. Well, there's no doubt about it, and it's, it's this combination that is so strange for people to have to wrap their heads around when you get on the floor with them. You're standing eye to eye him if you're 6'5", and you don't realize the power, the strength, the quickness off the floor, the ability to put the ball down on the deck. I mean, he's just something that you don't see every day, and it's the reason why Zion's one of the more special players in the league. Graham dishes to Ingram over Williams, and it's Ingram missing. The Grizzlies have gone 3-7 of shooting the ball here in the second quarter. And it's Barant, that time on the assist by Clark. And now it's a four-point Grizzly lead. Now that basket must be widening out right now, and he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. The Pelicans have gone 6 of 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Graham, the pass to Hernan Gomez. Here's Ingram. Tillman grabs the miss. And the Grizzlies leading by four. Clark kicks to Williams. Pass to Clark. Over in the corner, Williams. Back to Clark. Shoots the three. No good on that one. And New Orleans will come the other way. Graham, the pass to Williamson. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the best. So close to getting the block there. You can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Dylan Brooks, he's checked in for Williams. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Conjo. Morant passes to Melton. Takes the three. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. What a great option he gives them on every possession. Graham dishes to Ingram. Pass to Hernan Gomez. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. It. He's got 20. Into the lane. And that one drops. Oh, and now a seven-point Grizzly lead. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. And so Graham will bring it up for New Orleans. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Ingram. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5-for-8 clip. They are just killing him. 
on the interior. And here is Clark. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Morant with a wide open look. And again, it's Memphis with the three. And that's his second in this quarter, guys. He's made three so far this game and is showing no signs of slowing down. Now here's Graham. He's got five. And it's Williamson missing. The Grizzlies on offense. They're on a 12 to four run. Grant off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Bring him against Morant. Ingram outside. Here's Alexander Walker. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Next step for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. And it's Clark with the jam. Quick to the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. Pelicans trail by 10. The pass due Alexander Walker out to the right wing. From the baseline. And he recovers it. And it's Williamson missing. And this has gone five and nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Ingram with the steal. And a fast break now for the Pelicans. Ingram's running. Brooks grabs the board. Brooks has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Elton finds Brooks. Memphis moving that ball around. Mark against Fernand Gomez. Clark, the pass to Tillman. Can't hit that one. And New Orleans will come the other way. Here's Ingram driving in. Oh man, these Kevin Durant comparisons are starting to come to fruition right here, especially when Ingram is finishing with power on the drive. Morant passes to Brooks. To the middle. Here's Tillman. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Brooks. Brooks has got his fourth assist in this one. All right, Greg, you're a lefty. You're on the call tonight. Here we are at side. Who do you think is the best left-handed player currently in the NBA? Oh, it's no here. James Harden, Kevin, no question. But Zion's going to be carrying that torch for us lefties going forward. I have no doubt he'll make us proud. The first time out of the game called for New Orleans. And the NBA dress code introduced back in 2005. Now, player attires Frank have been from business casual. Uh, does that bother you, Greg? You know, it doesn't bother me because that's where we are as a society. But, man, I can tell you, when I first came in the league, you get fined if you didn't wear dress socks. Really with so we have come a long way in terms of the evolution of fashion. And you know what? I'm not one for stopping progress. Up top, Morant. 25 points in the game. Clark dishes to Morant. That's tipped. It's not with extreme athleticism that Willie gets to that shot, but the anticipation and the timing, those help. And the shot's good Big from Clark. And, and that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Morant scanning the floor. Passes it to Clark. Inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And the toughness of Brooks on display, not fearing contact when he's looking to score inside. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Dylan Brooks taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. So for the Pelicans, Jackson Hayes comes in for Hernan Gomez. And Zedaransky subbed in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And both free throws good for Brooks. Pelicans trail by eight. Here's Temple. He's got six. Pass to Ingram. 
down low. Sadaransky. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Lead passes like that are so hard to defend. He never had to break his stride. So full speed, two points. Pass to Morant. There's the drive. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Good work defensively by Crowder, and he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. New Orleans has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. To the inside, and slapped up by Ingram. And this is where that length shows off on particular plays like that. Still able to score. So timeout call here. The first for Memphis. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. The Pelicans making a switch here. Hart's checked in. Memphis leading by four. Clark right side. Crowder against Morant. Here's Culver. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his second personal foul. And Culver's game just screams potential. Already a good scorer, rebounder, and passer. Now the next step, improving that outside shot. This is his first chance at the line tonight. An 80% shooter. The work he's done at the line this season, one word, solid. Free throw drops for Culver. So he gets them both. And so it's New Orleans with it. They trail by six. There's a minute 34 left to play here in the half. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an elusive ball. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Memphis leading by six. Now Morant. He's got 25. The feed to Clark. There's the pass to Melton. Dishes it to Morant. Five on the clock. From deep. Here's Clark. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basketball. Clark's got six points in the quarter. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. 56 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, easy call. The Pelicans have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Jackson Hayes taking two shots. First free throw is good. Some changes for Memphis. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Clark. Jackson comes in for Culver. And it's Bain in for DeAnthony Melton. Hayes hits them both. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and it extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect in line so far here in the second quarter. Up top, Morant. Sadaransky covering. Adams' shot is off. Uh, Mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, Always surprising to see a miss from there. Memphis foul. Steven Allen. That's his second person foul. 14 foul. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Yeah, he's at 81% from the line. And, and when we've had a chance to see him, he's had great form and, and continues to look confident. And the first one drops. And then Ingram, he's checked in for the Pelicans.
and so he makes both from the line. We've got 28 seconds left in the second quarter. Morant against Sadoransky. Payne for three. Rebounded by Hart. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. To the middle. Yeah, that's a tough call There's right there. And, and really a tough break. That's his third person foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And of course, we'd all like Josh to see his percentage at the line at the improve, for two. but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. First one falls for him. And Hart, the last pick of the first round in that 2017 draft. And not sure why so many teams passed on this talented young man, but boy, he is terrific. And Hart drops them both. I'm out called the Grizzlies. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it. Make the adjustment. Now, here's Moran for three. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. John Moran has been leading the charge, guys, for Memphis. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. And don't go away. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. was no stopping John Morant in the first half. He had 25 points, three assists, and three rebounds. It's been quite a night so far for him. Kenny, what do you think about the Grizzlies? Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots on the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Pelicans. Well, I love that they were forceful of the offensive end. They got the shots they wanted. They played aggressively and got to the line. A strong attacking mindset. I like it. We'll see if they bring the same attitude in the second half. 